generating me over seven figures a year. Why shouldn't this be possible for you as well? All right, so it's been a month since my last vlog. And yeah, in the meantime, I got a ton of messages from people asking me when I would publish a new one. And yeah, to be honest, I was so caught up with work that the vlog wasn't a priority for me. But with that, I also forgot about you guys, right? Because I realized I made a promise when I started this vlog. I made a promise to document every single step. And yeah, I didn't held up on my end of the deal, right? So I just wanted to let you know, I really appreciate all of the support. And from now on, I'm going to document every single step like I promised. And also, I don't know what it is, but every time I stop or pause the vlog, I kind of miss it, you know? So yeah, I'm back. But yeah, first thing first, we gotta get some coffee. We gotta sip that MRR. And I now actually have a new habit of drinking my morning coffee. I'm ordering on Uber Eats. I'm ordering a cappuccino at Starbucks. So let's open up Uber Eats and order a cappuccino. Let's go for tall one. Espresso roast added to the basket. I'm very tempted to add a cinnamon roll, but let's skip that one. So while we're waiting for the delivery, let's quickly do a recap of all the things I've been up to. So first off, I'm just back from a two week trip to Portugal where I took some time off with the family. And yeah, to be honest, didn't do much work in those two weeks, just, just, just making sure to rewind a bit and yeah, one thing I always like to do is think bigger picture during such trips, you know, where I'm heading to, what's the roadmap, and yeah, basically, what's the bigger picture here? Because if you don't know, I'm working on several businesses that are making me altogether seven figures a year. And yeah, I'm working obviously on Feedify, but it's a new startup and it's not doing that much revenue, but I have more SaaS products. I have the Zero to SaaS community and my course and other info products that are making me money, such as Notion templates. And of course, there's this newsletter, the Sip That MRR newsletter. But yeah, in general, some time off did me really, really well. So my delivery is almost here. I have a little commute to the office, but I'll see you guys inside my office. So one thing that will never change about these vlogs, guys, is the coffee. Ah, gotta sip that MRR. All right, so the first update, the update you've all been waiting for, I guess, is regarding Feedify, the product I'm actually building here in public on this YouTube channel, right? And by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, you can just watch back all of my previous vlogs that are basically all about Feedify. Yeah, in these vlogs, you can watch me announce the project, reveal the name to actually building the first version, and also launching the product in public. But yeah, the newest update for Feedify would be Sprint 2 and Sprint 3. So in Sprint 2, we launched a custom logo for the widget. We have localization, so you can now change your widget into multiple languages. You can just select a language you want to serve to your users. And we also have new packages. So we actually launched Nux, Svelte, and WordPress. And funny thing, we're also launching the WordPress plugin into the official directory of WordPress. And our review has been successfully completed already. So yeah, soon you will be able to download Feedify in the official WordPress directory. So then we also completed Sprint 3. And the most important feature of this sprint would be the roadmap. So now in your Feedify, you can actually start building a roadmap. So what this means, you can add things to coming up or just live, or you can customize the color and title of these statuses basically. But what it does, if you now open your Feedify widget, besides, you know, submitting your issue, your idea or something else, you can also share your roadmap. So now your users can actually see what's coming up or what you just shipped live. You know, this is obviously a good way to inform your users about all the new features you're working on and building. Now in the last vlog, I think I shared we had our first paying customer, right? So a recurring team I wanted to introduce today is to look every month to the numbers of all of my SaaS businesses. So revenue wise for Feedify, we're now around 62 euros a month, 
which is not that bad actually, because I'm not heavily focused on marketing at this point. We're just building the product. And yeah, having a couple of customers around 62 euros. So marking almost that first milestone of 100 euros or $100 a month is kind of cool. Now for Upvody, my main SaaS product, we're generating new revenue every single day. And we're now around 52,000 euros. And yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, Upvody is my main SaaS product, which is also a feedback tool, but a more advanced feedback tool than Feedify because Upvody is more an all-in-one feedback tool with roadmap, change log, but also like feature voting boards, etc. Whilst Feedify is just this little feedback widget. Now there's actually one more income stream we have to dive into, but it's time for me to head into a meeting I have with a client of mine. So I do SaaS coaching on the side. It's just like a side hustle. It's really a passion of mine to just coach aspiring founders that are looking to start in SaaS. So yeah, let's quickly head into the studio and hop on this meeting. Hey man, how are you doing? Hope every, hope everything's okay. Yeah, so in that case, what you want to do right now right. is get this landing page in front of your target audience as soon as possible, right? right? So the only thing, or actually two things you need to do right now is add a subscription box to your landing page to start building this waiting list, right? So wrapped up this meeting and yeah, it's super fun to talk to these founders, these aspiring founders. And yeah, like I said before, it's kind of like a passion project, although they're paying me. But yeah, it's just a relatively small fee. Um, coaching now four founders. All of them are developers, by the way. So I'm non-technical. But one thing I've noticed about technical founders or developers is they're really good at building this product, right? Building the actual software. But then they have no idea where to start, where to or how to launch, basically. And also, all four of them are too much of a perfectionist. So they keep on building features and postponing the launch. And yeah, that's why I'm here as a coach for them to help them stay on track and accountable. So yeah, it's super fun to do. But yeah, now let's get on with, well, basically, this is also one of my income streams. But now let's get to the one that's actually doing 30% of my monthly recurring revenue. And that's actually my course. So I have zerotosascourse.com. And this is a course I sell basically on autopilot, right? I have a referral system with affiliates. I have my own content, which is bringing in new leads every single day. And for the last couple of months, it's steadily now doing around 13 to 15K a month. So it's pretty, pretty damn good. Well, to be fair, it's also part of Zero to SaaS, which is a community. And the best lead generator, I would say, is writing these case studies. So I'm doing these case studies on other founders. And yeah, basically, they're ranking high in Google. I'm sharing them on the social media channels. And of course, by tagging these founders and them resharing this content brings in a lot of new visitors and leads as well. So for example, we recently did one of the co-founder of Hype Fury or Product Hunt Maker of the Year, Mark Liu, or Simon Hoiberg, which you probably know here on YouTube as well. And of course, you can read one about yours truly as well. Yeah, so this is a free platform. The case studies are free. You just have to, you know, subscribe to the newsletter and you will get one case study each and every single week and they're highly valuable. You can learn a ton from them. So yeah, all in all, a nice addition to my portfolio of internet products that are generating me over seven figures a year. And this is not to brag, but it's just, I'm just here to show you that it's possible. Me as a solopreneur doing seven figures, why shouldn't this be possible for you as well? It's just a matter of building multiple products. I'm working on my newsletter, I'm working on a course, I'm working on a community, I'm launching SaaS products. You know, I'm just shipping multiple things, but the basic is building this audience. So you have to go out there, you have to, you know, share valuable stuff, and then you can build businesses around it. It's basically what I say here in this tweet, everyone should own at least three revenue streams, 
multiple revenue streams will be the norm. And this is the most important one, create a portfolio of products. And it really, really starts by just going out there. But yeah, today I've been completely cut up with work and doing this meeting and doing this vlog. I've completely forgot about lunch. So let's go downstairs and get some food. So almost daily, the same recipe, some eggs, bread, bacon, and some vegetables. And yeah, this is really all I need to set myself up for success in the afternoon. So one thing I always like to do as well during lunch is to watch some YouTube, to really have that off-screen time from my laptop, and I guess also gain some inspiration from other YouTubers, right? On today's menu, we have the new vlog of Jacob Binney, who's documenting his startup as well. Highly recommend subscribing. Also, look at this. We got a shout out by Jacob Binney. It's just really going to be a lot about testing and going nuts. Also, shout out to Mike Strize. He set me up with a visual deal, a lifetime deal of Feedify. So you're He's now using Feedify. Um, so we're going to be going nuts, integrating that this morning as well, so that we can get as much like, user feedback on the front end as we can. I've been actually wanting to do that for a while. This has really bothered. There's been no kind of specific, I don't know, app or program I've chosen. But yeah, shout out to Mike. That's awesome. So how freaking cool is that? And yeah, the story behind it, I've been in touch with Jacob for a couple of months now, ever since he started building a YouTube basically. And yeah, recently he launched sub.me and I was very intrigued by the product. That was building Feedify obviously. And yeah, it kind of makes sense to partner up to incorporate Feedify into sub and let's see if there's a win-win. But yeah, obviously this kind of shout outs it's pretty good for the product. So yeah, very happy about it. Thanks to Jacob. And it's one thing I want to double down more on to get these quote unquote influencers or, you know, people that have the audience that potentially could use Feedify in their own products. I did the same a couple of years ago with Upvoti actually, when we partnered up with Direct Admin. So this is a big community of Direct Admin users that are building software products and potentially do want to use Upvoti into their own, in their own products, right? So yeah, this is one of the better strategies, I would say, to promote your product for almost free, right? And yeah, to get eyeballs from a larger audience outside of your own network and customer base, right? But yeah, for now, biggest priority, finish this launch. All right, so just finished launch and now I'm actually working on something very fun, something I wanted to do for a long time. So like I said, my newsletter is called Sip That MRR, right? Because I love coffee and I love MRR, monthly recurring revenue. So I'm now thinking about actually creating this mug. And I would like to know from you guys, do you want me to list this on whatever print on demand service there is to actually make this available to you guys as well? Because I'm going to create one for myself, but I might as well just also make it available for you guys, right? Just let me know what you think. I think it's a cool mug. All right, so another hour of deep work in the books, and now I'm going home. I'm going to go for a quick run to clear my mind. That's always something I like to do after work in the afternoon. And yeah, to just reflect on the day and also already plan ahead for tomorrow. So yeah, highly recommend doing some kind of workout at the end of each and every work day. So yeah, let's pack my bags and call it a day. So before going home and doing my daily run, I just wanted to talk about one tweet I posted, this one. So in this tweet, I shared five ways to stop procrastination. And as you could see in today's vlog, I really talk a lot about deep work hours. So this is actually how my calendar looks like. It's packed with all of these deep work hour blocks and they're really non-negotiable. So I guess it comes down to point number two in this tweet. You have to say no to everything that's not a priority. Because, you know, every yes means a no to one of your priorities. And that's exactly when you get into this procrastination mode and miss all of your deadlines and goals. So yeah, highly recommend doing these deep work blocks. And with that, this is the end of this vlog. I'm going home, going for a run. Might listen to a nice podcast. Let me check which one is on the menu today. I think I'm going for, yeah, I'm going for Matt Grace 
on the Ali Abdal podcast deep dive. Should be a fun one. So yeah, again, going to unwind, clear my mind. And thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.